Hi, I'm Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. Today's feature is Library Browser Improvements, which is number two in my list of the 20 new and improved features in the new version of Chief Architect X15. Let's get started. So let's, uh, I'm gonna delete this because it's kind of distracting from yesterday's uh, video. I'm going to zoom in here on the library browser. A couple things have changed on this. You'll see in X14, my user catalogs, I had named some a couple of my favorite catalogs with a space and then a dash to show to bring these to the top of the list of of library items. X15 does not do that. I imported my custom library objects and here's those two uh, dash space dash DBS cabinet tools and space dash DBS room tools um, are not at the top of the list, even though they're the same name. So that's one change. Another change with the library is that you can take custom 3D solids and add it to the library, just like this is. So I've created this solid 48 inches tall. It happens to be 94 and a half by 94 and a half, and I, I chamfered this upper right hand corner and we can add that to the library and it just pops in here as 3d solid and then you can drop it several places in your plan i'm going to delete this one because i don't need it really in my library but that's that's a cool uh, benefit what i'm finding though is that the searching and filtering and tagging is a lot better in this um, in this version X15. So notice, um, let's see here. Let's say let's work with my cabinet tools and go to say closet or let's say uh, kitchen. That's what I know. Under my kitchen base, I've got a three DB tool, three drawer base tool, so that I can apply this three drawer base to any base cabinet and it will automatically populate with three drawer bases. Let's right click on this and notice you can now manage folders. So if I were to manage folders and say, I wanted to put it in the wall, um, wall folder instead of the base folder, I could click on this and click okay and it would move it. I don't wanna move this one. I can right click, I can manage tags. I could create a new tag and call this uh, base DBS base cab tools. Okay, so this cabinet is now in my favorites, which I added previously, uh, I, and I'll show you how to do that. And I just added DBS base cab tools. Okay. So I'm still in the 3db tool. I'm going to right click again and mark as favorite which you see with the star, it's already marked as favorite. If I click again, it's no longer um, Here we go. It's part of my favorites already. Okay. Oh, I take that back. That's what it was. The optional tags here. So, ah, there we go. I'm still kind of learning the tricks to this library thing. I created that new tag called DBS base cap tools. Favorites was already an option. So I just need to add this. Now 3db tool is in my favorites and it's in my DBS base cap tools tag. Okay. Now out of the box, chief architect library does has this search bar and this filter filter tool. Favorites is not an option uh, to filter yet. So let's go to, when I click on favorites, that, that doesn't work. So let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the magnifying glass, this advanced search here. And 
I could say it's in the folder, has certain tags, or text contains. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to go back and delete this. So now I, I no longer have the favorites. Let's walk through creating a favorites search. Click on the advanced search magnifying glass. And I'm going to new filter called favorites. And that is going to search favorites. So I'm going to, in the tags, I'm going to start searching FA and there's favorites. Okay. That is my new search. That is the new filter. I'm going to save all and search. So there are my favorite tools, 3db tool. I previously showed cabinet, closet, shelf, and rod, and my shower bench floating are in my favorites. Okay. Now to get out of that, I'm going to X out this favorites list here. And let's go to favorites again. And let's say I want to see my favorites under DBS kitchen cabinet tools. So it's going to add this favorites also in DBS cabinet tools. And there's my 3db tool. If you get a lot of favorites, right, it's going to be like almost like what's the value of having favorites if we if the search just spits out a hundred results i still have to search through 100 results well if you have your favorites under closets there you go there's my favorite closets or my favorite room tools or my favorite cabinet tools you can start sorting down the favorites that you might have okay um let's close that let's add go back to this and let's Go back to my advanced search and my tags was uh, DBS base cab tools. I'm going to add a new filter and call it uh, DBS base cab cabinets. Save all and search. Now, this is only applies to 3db tool so maybe instead of my favorite cabinets i need to go back and apply the the trick here is i wish i could apply these favorites and tags to a folder as well but i can't so i'm gonna have to manage let's see if i can multiple select here I multiple select and manage tags. Look at that. I can multiple select and manage tags for all 11 items. These are my base cabinet tools. Done. Done. Go to my search, my saved filter. And there we go. So instead of having to be like, my wine cabinet, what, what do I want to apply to my base cabinets? Right there. That's my options. Now, if I were to apply my favorites, whoops. Favorites, that's my favorite one, okay? Favorite base cabinet tools. Now, with your advanced search, now that I've got this search set up here with favorites and DBS tech cabinet tools, I could do my advanced search and it's pulled up these two searches and I could create a new filter from this, base faves, right? Let's close these two. And now I've got base faves and it automatically pulls up both of these uh, features, these constrictions in my search to just quickly find my 3db tool. If I were to close these out, and let's add another favorite here, Marcus favorite, my apron sink base and go to base faves. There you go, 3db tool and apron sink. Just like that. It's gonna take some forethought into how to set up your favorites, how to set up your searches so that it's not just as, <laughs> it's actually saving you time. 
but I really think, and I got to say this, this library is really responding quickly. Let's go to some of these that are, I know are um, long time. When you pull it up, it takes a while to, to reveal. The other cool thing, I don't remember if this showed up in 14 or not. Can you see this little double arrow, double headed arrow kind of in a circle? That tells me AZEC building products update is available. I'm going to right click update. It's going to do its thing. Core catalog is updated. Click OK. And now we're ready to go. It does that with the core catalogs and bonus catalogs as well. Look, bathroom accessories number one needs updated. Done. If, if I right click on the on the core cat on the catalog itself, it doesn't show updates. So that's individual things here. Let's see what was uh, let's say Eurocast. Melee sometimes takes a while. Moen needs updated. Oh, I know. Um, Kohler. Man, these are these are responding so quickly. Revishoff, Sub Zero, Thermador, Thermatru, Gagano. Yeah, I gotta say, I th I think they really improved the speed of the of the libraries, and that's fantastic. Delta sometimes has a while, it takes a while. Look at how fast that's going. That's fantastic. All right, that's it for library browsers. Uh, if you come up with some filters, let me know in the comments below. That'd be awesome. It'd be really great if we could somehow share these filters. I don't know if you can export filters or not. Um, oh, I notice you can also quickly go back and forward like a history in your browser search with these arrows here. Didn't forget that little note. That's super cool as well. Thanks for watching. If you like these and like this 20 days of, of new features in X15, uh, like, share, subscribe, follow along for more. Follow that X15 playlist and we'll, we'll see some more videos coming shortly. Thanks.